Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, semicircle with the center of fully inscribed uh, in a trapezoid ABCD, as you can see in this given diagram, such that the area of this uh, semicircle has been given to us uh, as by square units, whereas uh, this uh, side length uh, AD is uh, 2 times x, and this side length uh, BC is uh, x. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, purple uh, shaded region, this area and this area combined. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Uh, we are going to calculate the radius uh, of this uh, semicircle. Let me label uh, this radius as uh, lowercase r. And we are going to find the value of uh, lowercase r. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area equals to pi r square, where lowercase r is the radius. And since we are dealing with this uh, semicircle, so therefore uh, the semicircle area is going to become uh, this uh, area pi r square and then we are going to divide it by 2 and now we have been given the area of this my circle as a pi so therefore we can write uh, pi r square divided by 2 equals to pi and here we can see this pi and pi cancels out so therefore we are ended up with uh, radius r square divided by 2 equals to 1 and now I'm going to multiply by 2 on both uh, sides to isolate r square and here we can see this 2 and 2 is gone so therefore r square turns out to be equal to 1 times 2 is going to give us uh, 2 and now I'm going to undo this square by taking a square root on both uh, sides so therefore we can see this square and square root is uh, gone so therefore uh, our radius lowercase r turns out to be square root of uh, 2 units. So thus the radius uh, of this my circle turns out to be square root of 2. That means uh, this radius uh, AO is going to be square root of 2 and likewise this radius uh, OB is uh, square root of 2 as well. So therefore uh, this whole uh, diameter a b is going to be square root of 2 plus square root of 2 that is going to give us uh, 2 times uh, square root of 2 and now let's make an observation we can see this uh, purple shaded area is going to be equal to the area of this uh, trapezoid uh, a b c d minus uh, the area of the semicircle as you can see in this uh, equation and now we can see our this uh, semicircle area has been given to us as uh, pi. So we know this my circle area is uh, pi. So therefore now our task is uh, to calculate uh, the area of this uh, trapezoid uh, ABCD. And now let's recall the two tangents uh, theorem. According to this theorem, if two tangent segments uh, are drawn to one circle from the same uh, external point, then they are uh, congruent, as you can see in this uh, diagram. And here we can see our this uh, segment uh, AO is going to be equal to our this segment uh, BO. And now let's revert our attention back to our this uh, given problem. We can see that uh, this uh, AD is the tangent and likewise uh, this uh, DP is the tangent uh, as well. So therefore according to this uh, two tangent theorem, if this uh, tangent length is uh, 2x, then this uh, tangent uh, dp length uh, is going to be 2x units uh, as well. And likewise, uh, this tangent uh, bc is going to be equal to this tangent uh, cp. If this tangent length is uh, x, uh, then this uh, cp length is going to be x uh, units as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, whole... Uh, CD length uh, is going to be equal to the sum of these two individual segment length uh, DP and uh, PC as you can see in this uh, given equation. So therefore uh, our this uh, CD length uh, is going to be 2x uh, plus uh, x. So therefore our CD length uh, turns out to be 3 times x. 
So therefore our this uh, C D length turns out to be 3x. And in this uh, next step I have dropped this uh, perpendicular uh, E C on this side uh, A D. And now let's make an observation. We can see this angle is 90 degrees uh, and this angle is 90 degrees as well. So therefore uh, this uh, segment uh, E C is going to be equal to this diameter uh, A B and we know our diameter is uh, 2 times square root of 2. So therefore this E C length is going to be 2 times uh, square root of 2 as well. And furthermore we can see that uh, this segment uh, B C is going to be equal to this segment uh, E A. If this uh, length is X uh, then this uh, E A length is going to be X uh, as well. And now let's make an observation. We know this uh, whole A D length is uh, 2X uh, and this uh, E A length uh, is uh, X. So therefore uh, this uh, D E length uh, is going to become uh, X. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, C E D. And we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case uh, our hypotenuse is uh, 3x whereas our two other legs are x uh, and 2 times square root of 2. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks uh, in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, 2 times uh, square root of 2 whole uh, square plus uh, x uh, square equal to 3x uh, whole uh, square. Let's simplify that is going to give us uh, 8 plus uh, x uh, square equal to 9 x square. And now we are going to subtract x square from both sides. This is uh, gone. So therefore uh, if we subtract uh, this one that is going to give us uh, 8 uh, x square equal to 8. And now we are going to divide both sides by 8 to isolate x square. So this 8 and 8 is gone. So therefore x square turns out to be equal to 1. And now we are going to undo this square by taking square root on both uh, sides. So therefore our x value turns out to be positive 1 uh, units. So thus our x value turns out to be 1. So therefore our this side length uh, BC is x. So this is going to become 1. And likewise this other side length uh, AD is uh, 2x uh, and x value is 1. So this is going to become uh, 2 units. And here's our next step. Now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, trapezoid ABCD. And now let's recall the area of a trapezoid formula. Area equals to height H uh, times uh, base A plus base B all over 2. And here our base A is 2, our base B is 1 and our height uh, h is 2 times uh, square root of 2. So therefore uh, the area of this trapezoid ABCD is going to be our height uh, is uh, 2 times square root of 2 divided by 2 times our base A is uh, 2 plus our base B is uh, 1. And now we can see this 2 plus 1 is going to give us 3 and moreover this 2 and 2 is uh, gone. So therefore if we simplify that is going to give us uh, 3 times the square root of uh, 2. And here's our final step. Let's recall this equation once again. Purple shaded area is equal to the trapezoid ABCD area minus the semicircle area. And our trapezoid ABCD area is 3 times square root of 2. And our semicircle area is pi. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this equation. So therefore we are going to have 3 times the square root of 2 minus uh, so thus after all the calculations and manipulations the purple shaded area turns out to be 3 times square root of 2 minus pi square units and that is going to be approximately equal to 1.1 square units as well and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.